essential things that we're missing that the rest of the world is getting on a daily basis is enzymes. Enzymes, basically you, you've got 3,000 different enzymes in your body that do 7,000 different things. Everything that happens in your body is run by enzymes. Enzymes speed things up. Um, enzymes, if we, if we didn't have enzymes, we'd be, we'd be able to move as, about as fast as an oak. Um, we just, there would be no life, no movement. Enzymes just speed everything up and make it happen. So enzymes go in and enzymes are like little Pac-Man. They'll go in and eat up um, scar tissue or foreign proteins. They'll eat up debris. They'll eat up um, fibroids. They'll clean up viruses. They'll, they'll, they're just always attacking and, and cleaning up. And when your blood vessels attack a virus or a bacteria and they grab it and they bring it back down to the liver, the liver's job is it just it, the liver's job is to is the enzymes in the liver will clean up the white blood cell, clean up all the debris and, and the from the war from the war that's going on, and send the white blood cell back out to be a warrior again, not a garbage collector. But what happens if you're low in enzymes? Well, then there's a backlog of all those white blood cells trying to get the debris off them, trying to get the virus or the back, whatever whatever is they're dealing or worn out protein or worn out tissues and so forth. And so what happens is we kind of slow down, slow down, and your body starts stuffing this here and this there and making little cysts and little tumors and you know, and you get more inflammation and then you got fibrin build up and you get all stiff and restricted and like old people, when you get older, you're, they're all bound up because they're full of inflammation. They don't have enough enzymes to clean it up. People that are young and um, you look at people like uh, um, Kellogg, uh, the Battle Creek, and you know the big cereal guy, and he he had this huge spot. He believed that fiber was the fiber was everything, and people would go there and he'd have he'd give them bran muffins for breakfast and bran biscuits for lunch and bran pancakes for dinner, and doing colonic irrigations and fiber, fiber, fiber. He thought that was everything. Well, he he died at 65 of a heart attack, and then Jensen. Um, he got he had a really bad prostate and he was um, an advocate of vitamins and be sure to get all your vitamins they'll cure everything and well he almost died of prostate cancer astronomical prostate problem um, in his in his early 70s which he which he ended up curing with or treating with a massive dose of enzymes and he went on to live into his 90s and then there's Paul Bragg Paul Bragg he would travel around, he was a naturopath, a nutritionist. He would travel the world and, and see what people that lived a long time, what did they do? What, what did they eat? What was the difference? And what he discovered is everybody around the world that lives a long time, they eat what's grown locally. They have a farm or they eat things off the tree or off the vine. Um, and one of the things they get when they don't have, when they, like in Japan where you can't eat around, they'll eat something with a lot of enzymes in it, like natto, something called natto, Natto, which has the enzyme natto kinase in it. It's a fermented soybean paste full of the enzyme natto kinase, which is one of the strongest enzymes on the planet. It just goes in and eats up fibrin. That's what enzymes do. As people, your blood, people's blood gets all thick and congested, and people have all kinds of scar tissue and, and wounds and so forth uh, from sports and injuries and so forth, your body builds up fibrin. When, when you think back when you were a child and you'd be outside playing and you'd be, you maybe cut yourself and you see it bleed and you cry for a second and you go, nah, but I'm having too much fun. So you go on and keep playing and then at the end of the day you look now, where did I cut myself? And you know, you're, it's healed with an invisible scar. You know, you twist your ankle or strain yourself and you'd cry and then brush it off and then go do it again, what you just did. And that's because you're full of enzymes. But as we get into our mid, uh, mid-20s, that's when we start running out of enzymes. And that's when the aches and pains start. That's when you go out and play ball or you know, work too hard or do, you know, exert yourself cleaning the, the attic or closets or playing you know, football or whatever. All of a sudden, you're, you don't heal as quickly. Then you get in your 40s and 50s and 60s and you have aches and pains and you're tied up for months and years so you never get better. And part of the problem is you're full of fibrin. Whenever you have injury, your body automatically, till the day you die, produces fibrin. Now, fibrin is, is like a little spider um, sort of like in your body that, or there are countless ones, but what it does is spits out little fibrins, little fibers to go and hold your torn, your cut, your torn tissue together, and it builds, holds the bones together and tries to build this big scar and, and all around it and all these adhesions to hold it together. And when you were young, you had enzymes that dissolved the fibrin when it was done. 
But now, without enzymes, your body just leaves those scars. And so the stiffness and the achiness. So when somebody has fibromyalgia, what's, what is it? Fibromyalgia, fibro is fibrin, and that's where in myalgia, myo is muscle, so where the fibrin builds up in the muscle because of repeated injury and you don't have any enzymes to clean it up, and alga is pain. Fibromyalgia is just a lot of fibrin build up in the muscles. And it's en the enzyme's job to go in and clean it up. Enzymes eat up that fibrin and bring your youth back. When I first started taking, years ago, you, we couldn't get good enzymes. And then about, well, it was probably four or five years ago, I found a, an incredible brand, and, I, and it, was, it, was, it was really amazing. I didn't really have any aches or pains, but I was taking two or three a day for about nine months, and I felt good. And then I thought about it, okay, um, I haven't been taking enzymes my whole life. What would happen if I took you know, 10 or 12 a day? So I did a little experiment myself, as, as I always do to te test things out. And two weeks later, my young son came up to me, looked at me in the eye, and said, Dad, what happened to the scar on your forehead? I said, wow, what happened? He said, it's gone. Well, when I was about 12 years old, I got hit by a car, had a big, big scar down my forehead there, and it's gone. It's flat. I had a little fiber cyst on the side of my leg. That, too, was gone in, in, within two weeks. So enzymes go in and eat up scar tissue. They eat up foreign proteins, and that's what scar tissue is. And help clean your blood, clean your blood, clean your muscles, clean your body. Enzymes are amazing. And the reason we don't get them is because we're the only animals on the planet that don't eat living things. All other animals eat live things, like the bird will eat the bugs and worms, the fish will eat the other fish, the insects, the algae, the, um, the whale will eat the plankton, the squid, the lion eats the gazelle, the gazelle eats the grass. Everybody's eating things that are alive except us. And that's why we don't get the enzymes.